Hello, my name is Leo. Today we are going to explain a few more useful algorithms used in computer programming. Sort algorithms are algorithms used for sorting numbers in number sequence in increasing or decreasing order. In these examples we are going to see lists which will store these number sequences of unsorted elements we want to store in increasing order. We are going to talk about two basic sort algorithms, exchange and bubble sort. The first is exchange sort. In the exchange sort we have this for loop nested in, inside this outer for loop. And how does it work? First take the first element of the list and compare it to each other element of the list which is right from it. And the first element from the list which is right from it, which is smaller than the chosen number, then we have to swap these two numbers. And when this ins inside, when this nested for loop iteration is ended, then go to the next iteration of this outer for loop, so go to the second element of the list and do the same operation. So do the same comparisons and in this way we are going to get the sorted list in the end. The other type of sort algorithm is bubble sort. It has while loop within which is for loop. And how does it work? We take the first and the second element of the list. If the first one is greater than the second one, then swap them. In the next iteration of for loop, take the second and the third element. If the second is greater than the third, then swap them. And do this all the way to the, length, to the end of this list. And in the next iteration of while loop, go in the next way, but now the number of compared elements in list is decreased because this k variable has increase for one. In this way we don't have to compare these items or in the end of list which were previously already compared and sorted. So this is how bubble sort algorithm works. Finally here we have an example of very complex but very useful algorithm in computer programming, which is binary search. Here is an example of computer guessing game, where we imagine some number in some range, and we want computer to guess it, actually calculate it by using binary search algorithm. So first we have to determine low and high limit of this number range, which is the smallest and the biggest possible number we can choose from that range. Then choose that number x, and calculate center from this low and high limit, which is approximately their arithmetic mean. Then go to this first if statement. If the number we've chosen is actually equal to the middle of this low and high limit, which were determined in the beginning, then computer prints your number is this number we've imagined. If uh, this uh, if statement wasn't executed, then go to else, where we have this while loop, which says, and this executed, while low limit of this range is smaller than or equal to high limit. Once when, it lo when low limit becomes bigger than high limit, then end this program, so jump out of while loop and print your number is. So inside while loop. First, we have some question. Computer uh, asks us, if this number we've imagined, is this number smaller than this center? So the, then the middle number between low and high, low and high limit. If it is, then our answer is in the lower half between the low limit and the center. Then it goes to the if statement, where we have condition if answer is equal to yes, so our number was smaller than the center, the middle number, then this high limit is shifted to center minus 1. So for example if we had low limit of 1 and high limit of 50, then this high limit is now shifted to 24, which is the middle number 25 minus 1 equal to 24. In the other case, when our number uh, will not be smaller than the middle number, then it means that it is greater than or equal to that number, so it goes, it doesn't go, go to if, it goes to else statement, where low limit is shifted right to center plus 1. In this example, 
if we, if we have, for example, low limit 1, high limit 50, their middle is 25, then low lim limit is shifted right to 25 plus 1, which is 26, meaning our number, imagine number, is in the upper half of this range. And after this, uh, some of this if or else statement was executed, then go and uh, set center to low plus high divided by integer division by 2. So we set the new center because our range has decreased and this center is always on the, in the middle of the range. And we go in this way and do this while iterations as long as our low limit is smaller than high limit or equal to it and when it becomes when it becomes uh, when low becomes the greater then print your number is the number we've imagined in this video you've learned something about some more complex algorithms used in computer programming i hope you've understood them and enjoyed watching thanks for watching and stay with us